Howdy doody every of Gooey and Welker Swim Club. We to Hiromi and Miko, and they were just apologizing for being selfish and that they shouldn't have burdened me, but in reality, you know, we're friends. And friends are supposed to help one another. So we all just left on our separate ways, home. And now I am home. It seems I stayed at swimming practice longer than I thought. Well, it is very dark outside now. The sun has already gone down, and I come home to a pitch black apartment. I'm too tired to actually fix dinner. That's why you get hot pocket or hungry man. I, I I'm not sponsoring them. Or fruits. I am sponsoring fruits. Hmm. Fruits is a way to go. Mm, lots of fruits. Good for you. I think I might just go to bed. Settling into bed. I find that sleep can't take me. Hmm. I mean, it has to be like around 8. Or 7. It's nighttime, right? 8? Wow, you're trying to sleep really early. I've had so much to think about for the last few weeks. Hmm. It's funny how much life has changed. Yeah. From having a few friends can change your life. It's all because of those two. Now I'm on my way to becoming a half decent athlete. Hooray! Well, at least Hiromi and Miko say that I'm becoming half decent. Oh, they're just teasing me. They could just be being they could just be polite for all I know. Nah. They wouldn't actually do that. Would they? Both of them have been honest with me the whole time. I think they were the most honest the few few days ago. Even with their most deeply held secrets. So why would they lie to me about my own performance? Yeah, they wouldn't. I do not know. No matter how many times I'm reassured, there's always a nagging thought at the back of my head. Which is... That little voice that tells me that I don't really have any talent at all. Well, that's not me. I'm not that little voice. That's the evil little voice. I'm the good little voice. Telling him all the good stuff. All right, Kata? Yeah, see? You heard me. It only takes one person to sneer at me or look down at me to negate any reassurance I had. Oh man, that doesn't mean... That means you don't... That means K doesn't really have that much self-confidence at all. Aww. Hmm, might be, be because of parents. Because... When parents put so much pressure on you, you just... Sometimes a small thing can just set you off because of what you've, you know, grown up in. What kind of family you've grown up in. Oh. Perhaps that's why I've just chosen not to even care about trying. But now, things are changing. Oh. Oh. Uh. What was it like last year? What was it like in middle school? Hmm. I actually want to know what was it like last year. Last time this year, what was I even doing with myself? Hmm, let me think. What was I doing last year? I... was going to collage. Well, from the day I posted this. Posted this video. <laughs> not, not, not when you watch it ten years later or something. <laughs> I think I would have been sitting in class and staring at the ceiling, just like I am now. Really? 
Uh, usually the teachers would just yell at you or call you out when you're staring at the ceiling. <laughs> Listening to some teacher harping on about something I couldn't care less about. Hmm. Was it social studies? That was my hardest subject. Or history actually. History and... I think just history. History and geography. <laughs> There's just too many countries, too many to remember, and cities, and towns. Uh, that sounds fairly accurate to me. I certainly didn't have any aspirations or anything, nor any real friends to speak of. See, that's the problem. Without any real friends, you can't really be yourself. Uh, because people just want to be just want to be part of a group, and they can't. They hide themselves to be part of that group. So it's really hard to just speak your mind at all without any real friends. That school in particular seemed to shun me just because I'm my father's son. Yeah, because of rumors and assumptions. Another place which had all of these grand expectations of me but never asked me what I wanted for myself. Yeah. At least now that I'm doing something because I want to. And not because someone told me to do it. I hear the phone ringing. Hmm, who could that be? I think it's hmm, my father. Dragging myself out of bed. I answer it. Hello, Keda. Hey, Dad. How have things been? Are you studying hard? Hard enough. And hardly, and hardly enough. And that swimming club? How has that been treating you? It's had its ups and downs. More ups than downs, though. That's good. You sound happier. Are you having a good time in your new school? Very much so. I'm glad to hear that. Something seems to be tro troubling him, though. Oh, is that a question? Hmm. I don't know. There was a question he asked before, I don't remember. I can hear it in his voice. The swimming club isn't distracting you, though, is it? Oh, it's about studies again. Yep, that question. It's important to find the balance between athletics and academics. I know, Dad. I was actually about to say that. Uh, I know. <laughs> you have to take this seriously. I really mean it. If you don't, you could determine where you end up in life. Another one of his doom and gloom forecasts. Uh, those are the worst. Why do I even bother picking up the phone? I wonder. Maybe he doesn't really. Maybe he doesn't realize it. Because if. I don't know. Someone's been saying that for so long, he. I doesn't realize what he's saying. And how it's affecting me. I get it, Dad. I'm trying my best to study too. I would hope so. If you don't start doing better, I think I might just get you a private tutor. No, that's not necessary. Oh, doing this for I just, I just got spit all over my screen. You can come home any, any time and spend your free time however you like. Doesn't that sound good? I'm happy with where I am, Dad. There's no need for a tutor or anything like that. If you say so. I'm just saying that it's an option for you if you feel that conventional schooling isn't working out. So are you saying like, like homeschooling? In hindsight, swapping you around to different schools obviously hasn't worked that well. Well, of course not. You keep moving people, like changes. Some is pretty hard at times. Sometimes it's easy for people, sometimes it's not. And apparently, it's not for me. So maybe private education is the best way to go. He still doesn't get it at all. 
but why should that be a surprise to me? Maybe it's a surprise because I haven't told him how I feel. Maybe that's it. It's not like I told him otherwise. Maybe it is. At least swimming is going well this time. I guess that's one good thing to come out of conventional schools. What about those two that you said were in the swimming club? Yeah, things are going fine with them. Just a fun? There's not anything more to it right now. I think back to those intimate moments I had with them. But I don't really want to talk to dad about that right now. Yeah, because apparently my parents just want to marry me off really fast or something. Yeah, just fine. Come on, I know a young man like you would be working your charms on them. They're probably falling for you already. How do you know, Dad? Maybe. I don't know yet. They have subtle ways of expressing their affection, Keda. You've just got to work out where the hints are. I'll work on it. But anyway, what about you? How have things been with work? Busy, as always. Great discussion, Dad. Nothing else, just busy as always. Oh, I rarely ever get a day off work, but I'm happy to be working. Hard work is what got me where I am. I don't un intend to stop working. What, what about for the family? I mean, I'm gonna assume you are really, like our family is really well off, but Family is important. If there's one thing I'll give my dad, it's that he never shies away from work. So it seems he's a workaholic? I don't think there's ever been a period in his life where he didn't work. Oh yeah, if you do well on your next test, maybe we could go get a new game console for you. I thought he was going to say we get you, we're going to go get ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I really thought he was going to say. You still have that old Arcadian battle station after all these years. Yeah, except um, it, it got wrapped around a girl's body, so I, I think I'm going to keep it. Uh, uh, shh. Maybe it's time to upgrade. Thanks for the offer, but the Arcadian is all I need. Plus, I rarely play it. Alright, but still. I think having a reward of some kind if you succeed would be nice, right? Yeah, I guess so. Just surprise me. Party laughter on the other end echoes through the phone. And I bet he's going to get me an upgrade for the game console. You've got the deal. Anyway, I've got to get going once again. Glad to hear that things are going okay. Yep. I'm glad things are going alright back at home too. Love you, Keda. Love you too, Dad. I put down the phone. I hope that one day I'll be able to tell him the truth. I think that's the problem here. You're not telling him the truth. Or you believe that he's not going to listen to you. But you don't know if you don't try, Keda. Oh well. That wasn't such a bad conversation, after all. It's so nice to talk to him. Even if it makes me feel bitter at times. I mean, family is family. While my life has changed, there's still a lot looming over me. But, I already am starting to get back on track. Maybe it's all going to be okay? Yeah, everything's going to be okay. It's different this time. I hope it's different, and we'll find out in the next episode if it's different. So everyone, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you guys did, then please slime the like button and help support me by sharing this video and by subscribing down below. Thank you everybody for watching this episode, and you will hear me in the next one. Goodbye!